Hi, so today I'm making a Roblox inspired shirt for my son. He chose the image that he wanted and all I did was upload it into Cricut Design Space. And I already measured the shirt. I'm just using a white cotton poly shirt from Walmart, size medium. So I want the design to be no more than 7.75 inches in width. And now I'm just gonna add Roblox. And I already downloaded this font, um, this Roblox font from, I think, thefont.com. And very simple, I'm just gonna type Roblox and make it also 7.75 in width so it matches. And I'm gonna make it black because I'm gonna do it on everyday iron on black vinyl. So very simple design. I'm going to do the print and cut first. And I'm going to use um, printable vinyl for dark material. So no need to mirror. I'm going to go ahead and print it out. So I always select add bleed and use system dialog and it's always hiding behind the window so I always need to move it down. And then while that's printing, I'm going to cut out the lettering. And I made a mistake here. I want to note, very important. Instead of just cutting it, go to edit underneath that box with the number two. There's a green edit and click mirror on. I forgot to do that and I printed it out or, you know, I cut it out and I had to redo it. You'll see in the video. So I'm going to select everyday iron on for my material and go ahead and cut it out. I'm sorry, I forgive you. I'm sorry, I forgive you. I'm sorry, I forgive you. Okay, so now we're going back to the print and cut and we're going to select printable vinyl. And we're going to go ahead and cut out the image. Okay, so I have my printed vinyl and my everyday vinyl all weeded out. I forgot to mention earlier, but I was using this true control with the hook. You can tell there's one with the hook. And I finally figured out how to use it. This one is actually really good at picking up these little pieces because you can like kind of dig it in and hook it up and pull it off without worrying about like scratching or scraping the rest of the work. So I've been liking that. So this is the shirt I'm gonna do. It's just a medium shirt from Walmart. It's a cotton poly blend. I'm just gonna straighten it out and do a quick press. Iron out the wrinkles and get any humidity or yeah, make sure it's dry. And then I'm gonna fold it in half.
do a quick press. The pressure it makes a diamond so And then this um, printable vinyl came with this, like a cutout, what do you call it, neck measurement thing. So I'm, I'm going to try and see if it helps. I usually just eyeball it. So I'm just going to align it to the center and also to the center of the seam. I guess what it's saying is you put it here. You start your design this low and I'll align this right under there. Yeah, that seems right. That's good enough for me. Okay. So this is Just want to align this so I can do the box part. Because well, I did make the words the same size, so it has to line up right there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the backing. And that's the one thing I don't like about dark transfer printable vinyl is that you have to remove the backing. It would be so much easier if you can just put it down and iron it with a carrier sheet, like the light transfer. Like this is not bad, but when I, I did this elf thing for the kids and it was all in pieces, like it was just a drawing of a t-shirt on there. And I had to do all the pieces separately. And it's kind of a pain. So I'm just gonna realign it. Then we move these. This is the paper it came with. So I'll use that. And I'm only gonna do 12 seconds and see what happens. Twelve seconds was definitely enough. So many things I wanted to share. Okay, so now we're gonna do the robot. The pressure it makes a diamond so rare. So rare, so rare. I'm gonna double check the heat guide and I'll be right back. Okay, so I checked the heat guide and it said to do everyday vinyl or everyday iron-on vinyl for 30 seconds at 315 degrees. So, good thing I paused because I had to reduce the heat on the easy press and that took a while. Um, so even though this has the carrier sheet, we want to always protect the print that's on there. So I'm just going to put the Teflon sheet right over the top. And I'm going to try to put it more on lettering versus on the design and you want to make sure it's always flat so even with the seams it can kind of alter how the easy press is going on your vinyl okay that looks good Sorry. 
so I'm always too anxious and I peel it up when it's hot but it's looking good so far on these like especially the black everyday iron-on I can kind of tell it's like it got lighter if that makes sense like it pulled away from the top and it's stuck on the fabric I'm just take it off trying to be strong and yet i still lose oh no i'll never ever get a chance to go back in time Even yeah that looks I good it, I, I always like to try to peel it off if i can so i can iron it again but that looks really good it's really on there so my son is gonna love this there's actually not a lot of Roblox shirts on the market. I don't know why, because it's so popular. And I'm not selling this, I'm just making it for him to have fun with. So yeah, if you learned something new or you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, I wanted to come back on. I always forget this part, but if you want to do it the right way, it does say in the instructions to flip it and press it again for 15 seconds. So I guess we will do that. I have to say I usually don't and it's fine, but just to be more accurate. Okay. So 3.15, 15 seconds. I'm just going to do the whole thing. So now it's extra on there. But yes, thanks for watching and see you next time.